And hello. Oh, that camera's a little bit low. There we go. And uh, we're back. New Year 2024. So the game. Uh, we ended, I think we just, just managed to kick Uruguay out of the war, right? Uh, like, it, like, it's been back and forth constantly, but we just managed to get Uruguay out. So we're only fighting Argentina now. So now we just need to go for it. Uh, to fight against our, uh, them. Why is the front up here? But yeah, so we obviously uh, want to win this. Uh, we actually maybe... Uh, yeah, they're not gonna accept that. Uh, we might... Let's see. Um, be able to just sit and wait. Since their war support is going down, ours is on plus 19. Or let, let's see here. There, yeah. Uh, so in four days, we I will get minus two, uh, plus sixty nine from exhaustion. But they will get seven. Uh, uh, uh yeah. So we, uh, let's see, so if we just sit on it, like, so maybe, how is this looking? So we are fighting 14 here. Our manpower reserves are very low, but so are theirs. So what I'm thinking is we'll push to take this state and then we sit on it. That should be fairly doable. Yeah, I think he's just sitting on defending now. So I think after this battle, this entire state should be taken. There. Oh, I got a bunch of you as well. Cool. So now we have... So what I'm thinking... Is we should be able to do... Uh, you're defending. We're gonna put you to defend. Uh, oh. um. I have no valid front. Okay, so there's this front. Oh, is there only literally one front? Um, because I don't, I don't want to put, uh, I don't want to push my luck too much. You're also defending. Oh god, it's going terribly for my people though. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, but they're, they're less than 1k. Okay, um, let's have you advance then. Uh, I'm guessing it's, yeah, it's not split because it's going like this. Uh, so maybe we should just keep pushing while they are so f oh they're recovering so what is this I've, I've also seen other people complain about this uh, I think it literally about fighting Argentina this is magic manpower that just spawns in mm. So, yeah, we are gonna move you to defend front. Because uh, it feels incredibly like they just conjure up tons of people from nowhere. Denmark has declared New Granada to be their rival. Okay. Right, yeah, and then they attack me. They have, like, full brigade, so I can't do anything. Um uh, 
Oh, but they're already at the hundred, so they're never gonna accept this, are they? Hmm. Yeah, because now we're gonna get the same problem. Uh, total separation? Uh, I mean, I can try. There. And... Yeah, they'll just keep pushing through now. And there's nothing I can do about it. At least more of them are getting wounded than mine, but a lot of mine are dying. Mm. Oh, wait, 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 uh, there's, uh, on, and they are proposing, they are proposing white piece. No, we do not accept this. And here comes the next battle. Yeah, and my army keeps just getting smaller. I'm like unsure what this is. If we just keep going, what will happen? Alright, so now we hold nothing. And yeah, they can just keep going. What is that? It's always when we get to their capital. Like, this is not the first time. Right? Is it better if I just sit here then? So we just stare at each other and hopefully I can recover some empire. Do I actually have um, enlistment efforts? Uh, yes. Now we're gonna keep track of their manpower here. I mean, they are recovering. And we are not. Are we taking attrition? Yeah, I am already maxing my budget. Yeah, there, there they come. They just... Hmm... And obviously now they're gonna push, right? There. Always have four gems. You can do four battles at one time and also faster recover morale. Oh, I could do that. Uh, I mean, do you mean in one army or just in total? Oh, no, I actually can't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't, and I don't think the problem here is specifically... Um, yeah, with morale recovery? Or was it? Yeah, but it's like, I, my, my problem here, it's morale, but uh, I think, but like, my... Oh, maybe it's morale uh, uh, organization. But like, the, the problem I'm having is Argentina's ability to... Because this has happened so many times and I've seen other people complain about it. Is this magic ability for the AI to sometimes just conjure up troops from nowhere. So I'm just gonna see, does this, like, if I, 
Just wait. And we now now we've gotten to my my core, my uh, capital, right? Do I magically get troops? No. Let's see. Here. So no. And also that this is bugged because this is me it, it's supposedly me advancing, but he's the I have all of mine on defending. Uh Hmm. All right. Let's try this. Since we, they have zero, uh, inf like uh, uh, how things look now is they have zero infantry. So what if we do this? Like, just advance. Everything advances. We just want to go as fast as we freaking can. Okay, that was not great. There. And then next battle should start... Fairly quickly. Oh no, they already they already got their magic troops. <sighs> what is your tech and their tech? Uh, I'm pretty sure I was higher, at least when it started. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, where the hell did I see that? Uh, been a while now, so I don't remember. From the sec, who are you? Okay, so that's their army. Uh, must be that uh, that, or you have not enough weapons. Uh, I do... Oh, I don't have enough artillery, but I sh... <laughs> okay. Uh, but I mean, that that shouldn't magically cause them to have more troops, right? We can try and fix the artillery. That shouldn't be a problem. I just import it. Uh, Paraguay here. Hmm... I kind of wish that the the newer Paradox games did like uh, Stellaris, uh, where you would have campaigns put into their own folders. Um, so if we go... Let's do highest buy orders. So yeah, we, we are producing way more guns than we need. So guns are cheap, so it is specifically artillery. Mm -mm. And I can't import from anyone, right? For, because we we're um, no, right? I forgot. This is the game where I'm uh, uh, going with isolationism. I have to make everything myself. Um, fuck. Uh, So if we have a look, uh, so this would affect the barracks here, right? Uh, no. Here we go. So... That you are active, the penalty is 50. I'm not seeing any penalty actually being applied, though. Isn't this the newest Paradox game? Yeah, it is. 
That's why I was I was just complaining a bit. Mm. Um, so like, yeah, I have enough guns. I don't have enough artillery for my uh, for these, which was stupid of me. Um. Is it something like here? No. And he obviously is not gonna agree to that. Uh, for that I need to actually get there. I mean, he might agree to it uh, when Warsport is low enough. <coughs> he will accept white piece. Military menu. Mm -hmm. uh, that's already full mobilized. Um, morale is fine. Organization is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have the artillery foundry on the way, and I just started war too early. But Current supply of you are 97%. So if we enter you here. Mm. Let's try this again. You will remain on that. We will do advance front. And then when I see that they engage them, I will enable his advance front. So we get it staggered. There. Uh, pillage. There we go. There. So here we're fighting 1k. There. Uh, now there shouldn't be barely anything left. Oh, he's regaining that manpower so fast. Uh, I'm gonna move you back to defend front. There. Oh, we have two battles here. Uh, cool. Uh, and then you to pillage. So like if, if we can take him fast enough before this like recovers. And especially if we can get Shako as well. So yeah, that would be a second front now, right? Uh... Uh, oh, got him. Oh, did I move you again? No, okay, I can't. Okay, so it is still only one front. Yeah, it is. Okay, there is still low. 
You're, uh, but they are still above 1k. There. Defend. Oh, no battle was taken. There. Pillage. Oh, there, we took their capital. Um, this should give us... Okay, so now they're here. So without them, ha since they don't have the capital, uh, we should be far. Oh, oh, I'm gonna save here. <laughs> that shouldn't allow them to magically get their uh, uh, <laughs> army filled up again. All right, what about putting them into one armor? Uh, I I probably should, but I'll do that. Like the original plan was to have the big army holding this because they keep getting those magical troops but I had to fight Uruguay as well and it uh, bogged down and then have the 5k push up and take Shaco basically um, there's no shield am among Kodilos <laughs> yeah playing isolation on my own choice uh, so like essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying uh, to do uh, uh, Jose, uh, what was it? Ho, uh, the Perpetual Dictator Jose Gaspar Rodriguez de Francia's dream, uh, basically, the despotic uh, utopian. So, like that, that is that is the the plan with the game. Uh, how many troops are you? One k. Okay, so you are recovering. Yeah, okay, we can keep pillaging. Okay, so we have two fights. Oh, oh, that one is nice. And then we have this one. Essentially, I, I had the problem with that. Jose never dies because I was playing with a bug, uh, which should be fixed now. Yeah, so which just made him immortal. So I just played around it. I just, Fuck it, I'll attack Argentina, I guess. Uh, can I... There. Oh, okay, I... Man, I should have taken more! Ooh. Ooh, he... No, okay, no, he did not regain his map power. I, I, I've read that wrong. Come on. There, proposed peace deal. Let not, let's not have more people die. Oh! Oh! I wish, I wish this screen would show me how many people died in the war. Uh... I should have checked that before I peaced out. <laughs> Right, so now, all we need is the Perpetual Dictator to be a little bit less perpetual, so we can get colonization going. Uh... Okay, uh, so... In essence, this population is not gonna have it great. Um... So far, it looks fine. Uh, I don't think we need enlistment anymore. Like, everything will slowly go back to normal. I'm gonna pay back our debt. And we can use this, then, for... Uh, violence suppression. 
Uh, how is Corrientes? Uh, you still have some turmoil. But... Okay, here. Let's have a look. Uh, what you need is alcohol. So, subsistence farms are not providing you with enough alcohol. Uh, we'll subsidize you, since you're food, I guess? Ah, uh, fruit. Um... We'll build one of these, just to make sure that there's food. Why this piece of land? Oh, this piece of land is because it's uh, uh, the same culture. Uh, it's... Uh, where are you? Gurani, which is the... Uh, the... Accepted here, and I think... When uh, later on I get a decision, right, where the Platinian and Gorani becomes like one new um, culture, which is Paraguayan. And I essentially what I want is all of this. Like, this is the goal. Get all of this. So I have all of the Gorani culture. In Chilean Patagonia. Uh, I guess that's down there. Uh, that's fine. Uh, Colony of Buenos Aires? Where's that? Oh, that has to be down here, right? Yeah. Um, and I think... Where are you? No colonial affair. I can't change... Like, essentially, I want this. Uh, but I can't do it because of the Pirogues. Oh, but it's only minus 10 now. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it was so much more before. We might be able to do this now. I need uh, someone in government that supports this, which is the rural folk and armed forces. Uh, the rural folk have more... I do not want to make the armed forces in power, because that's the age of the Caideos. Uh We'll fail the progress bar is full. Right, because we want to stay... What is it? It failed. The Fisclenches. No, wait. Let me... Is, th is this correct? If... If the armed forces... Yeah, okay, yeah. If the armed forces are part of the government, then they get tons of political power. Essentially, we get a military coup. Uh, so we don't want that, so we're gonna st stick with this as it is. And, uh, we, oh, uh, let's have a look at you. Yeah, you should be profitable. Uh, this should sort itself out. As soon as I have enough workers, I guess. Um, uh, but, so I should be able to get the rule folk into government, right? We're a dictatorship, so we can do whatever we want. Uh, yeah, 61 is still fine. Uh, with that, we can do frontier colonization. There we go. It has very low chance, but I'll take it. It's better than nothing. <coughs> Sorry. Um, uh, so if we have a look at our artillery, uh, we essentially do not have enough workers. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do this for now. Mm -mm -mm. We are gonna sub- we essentially subsidize our military complex. And bananas. <laughs> Victory is one of my favorite Paradox games. Just so many small bugs are a little bit annoying. Yeah, I agree. Like, uh, I know, like, I mean, when I was working on it, I it, it was looking so good. And then I was a bit disappointed in the release because just small things like I'm still annoyed about. I think they haven't fixed it yet. Is the uh, UI uh, when it comes to like big things that happens that are very important to the country it won't really tell you like you someone performs a diplomatic play on you 
I've missed that several times. Whereas like, here's a diplomatic play I really need to look at and the game just doesn't really tell me. And then suddenly I'm at war with half of Europe. Uh, or well, not suddenly, I... Uh, <laughs> I do notice it eventually, but I don't get enough time to prep. Mm. But I do think it's a good foundation, so it's eventually gonna become a really good game. Uh, so we do need to do something about this, which... Grain. Um, and the capitalists are not building grain, they're just doing cash crops like tobacco. Do they have anything good queued? No. Uh, so, where do we have workers? I think we already... We have uh, so many job seekers there, so many there. We have plenty here. Uh, oh, I have already queued corn here. Yeah. So, essentially, what we need is people and food. <laughs> and higher authority, yeah, neck and time goes down. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, can I lower, can I remove any of these? Uh, I don't think we need social mobility anymore. That was for me to get officers, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, just increase the speed a bit. Uh, and also the Diplo many times. Throw a Diplo game against Brazil as Great Colombia, Belgium and Austria-Hungary think it's a good idea to help Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. In what fucking world would Belgium and even Austria help? I mean, France, yes, they still have Guyana. I mean, okay. So, in the Victorian era, so uh, now I don't know the situation. It does sound silly. Uh... The perpetual dictator is no longer perpetual. Okay, right. with the death of Doctor Francia, uh, all of As Asuncion, uh, do I pronounce that correctly? Asuncion is in motion with civilian military cliques maneuvering to secure for themselves the reins of power. That is it. The parent of Rex is finally dead, as dead as El Kid and my grandmother both. God rest their souls. About time. The, the, Underserving have had their day. Now there's uh, right people can steer Paraguay back to glory. Um, let's see. By slide, signing with the reformers, will forever fade. No, Sir Patino Don, unloved Secretary of France, will cling to power. But continuing Dr. Francis' legacy, you will be locked out of Paraguay's powerful modernization expansion journal entries. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, this gets restructured, intelligentsia gets more political strength, uh, lower... Uh... Yeah, let's go. Screw it, let's go. Uh, <laughs> he's finally dead. Ding dong, ding dong. The dictator is dead. All hail the perpetual dictator. Uh, but yeah, so what, as I was saying... Uh, let's unpause. Um, as I was saying, um, I can see in the Victorian era, let's say you have the great powers and one of the great powers have a lot of interest in Brazil. Let's say a lot of raw resources and a lot of Austrian businessmen that own operations in Brazil. Uh, I grant Colombia that is actually powerful and can threaten that would get a response. Just think about the fact that France fucking attacked New Mexico over pastries. <laughs> so, like, th this is also why, like, uh, people have talked about, I see people are criticizing, oh, Vicky 3 doesn't have a uh, case belly system and so on. This is the age of, like, rules to war and so on. No, this is the war of where all of this, uh, this is the era where all of the silly, stupid ass wars happen. There's also the big wars that we think about and associate with Victorian era, but it's also wars over really stupid small things. It's one of the, like, for Europe, it's the most peaceful time in history, besides now. Uh, well, maybe actually more peaceful. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but 
For the rest, everywhere else, it's not peaceful. <laughs> I mean, I think Great Britain uh, uh, themselves during this era started, I think I looked it up, uh, it was something like 120 wars alone or something? Well, we reached half a million at least. Mm -hmm. How is it looking here? Oh, it's looking better. So, uh, it is still liquor that is their main problem. Uh, but we all of that will get fixed as soon as we can. Colonize because we, I'll colonize here first, Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. Oh. Losing money. Oh, right. Right, 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 Uh, well, that won't fix it. Uh, we have consumption tax and tobacco. Um. Let's see. Mm, maybe we're just gonna have to do the ethics of exploitation. The government attempts to pass the frontier colonization laws brought ethics of colonis colonism to the popular public debate. It's morally correct. Fuck. <coughs> oh, oh no. <coughs> I waited so long for that motherfucker to die. I am not I'm not gonna lose frontier colonization. Oh. Mm. Let's go. Mm. Do we have anything? We're kind of... Uh, intensive agriculture would be good because we have a lot of our agriculture land. Mm -hmm. And we do need more um, uh, like base foods. Power of the per we don't have a navy. <laughs> Um, and this is worthless for us, uh, since we can't have trade routes. Uh, so what we'll do is this one. There we go. There. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, it, oh, it might have saved the seed, so it doesn't matter what I click. Wait, let me, let me have a tr little try. But what that means, all I need is another random thing to happen, and then... Okay, so if we just wait a bit, it's enough random things are gonna happen with uh, AI and stuff. And then I have a bigger chance of it being fine. Low organization? Why are you low? Insufficient command. Oh, 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 right, he died. Um, uh, let's see, we have someone who's brave. He does. Bigoted Surveyor. I think we'll do you. Iron Shortage. That takes... Uh, no, let's... How much iron are we producing? Well, it is fully... No, it's not even fully employed. Mm -mm. Let's just have this 
We're cheating in here? No, no, this this is retribution because of the bug with uh, the perpetual dictator. So now it should be fine, right? It might actually have saved it. It might actually already have saved like the random seed of the event or something. Uh, let's try a little bit further before I click. Oh, and I'm losing credit. Okay. Um, how are uh, paper uh, in our market? Where are you? Oh, we produce no paper. Okay, but then I am gonna I'm gonna pause you. Uh, because we need to fix this economy a bit. Uh, nope. I'm gonna try and make Uruguay like me again. Oh, so it clicks up. Okay, that is actually pretty nice. I don't think I've seen that. Uh, yes. No, it's saved. God damn it. <laughs> no chance in hell that it's gonna it's it's gonna fail three times in a row. Alright, so then we're gonna do we concede, uh, which is different random chance. So there, there we go. Oh, I uh, oh, I uh, shortage. Grain is expensive. Iron is expensive. Yeah, I like how they are building tobacco factories when I need food. Uh, okay. What can we cut? Ooh, subsidies. Uh, oh, the artillery foundry is being really heavily subsidized now. I think, oh, I think everyone went to work there, didn't they? That's why we are not built. That's why iron got so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's still an input sh Oh, no, there's an input shortage from you because there's not enough iron. But yeah, but you, you're too many people. Like, you're building too many cannons. Uh, so that's, that's why. Uh, next one is arms. Uh, there. And then we can have... Uh, Uh, where are you? Uh, resume. Because we need we need administration for um, uh, for the colonies anyway. Uh, so I need to get that done. Oh, a maze farm. Finally. Took you long enough. Oh, got that bug. Nice. So we're not cheating, but only because we have failed to do a cheating. Well, n no, no. We... Oh, come on. Uh, small arms, there are tree buildings. Okay, so... How are we not building enough guns? Like, we, are, we should be putting a pressure on buying as many as we need. Uh, maybe the buildings... Do the buildings maybe require the full amount, even if there's not enough people recruited? So, oh, there we go. There, it fixed itself. Uh, so, Bajo Paraguay... We have a lot of people living below. So iron is better, grain is better. 
Small arms are very expensive, but we are paying for that, so that's fine. Uh, goods for military buildings. That is a problem we'll have to solve later. Are we the based Utopian... Uh...